stakeouts. That's all we ever do is stakeouts. Sit in the boat, watch this guy, record that guy. Or ring. Even the fishing sucks, man. Not even a bite. You would think there's something out there. Look, we're all out of drinks. Aren't you getting tired of just staring at that stupid yacht all day? And where's LQ-16? Head to Fisherman's Village, dock number F4. You have 20 minutes. Well, well, what do we have here? Nice watertight package. Ho will be waiting for you. Be careful. Radar's picked up a bogey. You may be watched. Any sign of trouble, proceed to drop zone two. I've sent some interference to check out the boat, so you shouldn't have any problems. Good work, Ty. Thank you for this opportunity, Father. I will not fail you. Hey, hey, he's moving. Whoa, I got one. Pull up your line. Yeah, sure. Only fish I caught all weekend, I gotta cut it free. Christ, what kind of fish is this? Oh. Hey. Wake up, Billy. This is no time for a nap. What? What? Uh, who? One of Powell's hired killers. I'm notifying LQ-16. LQ-16. Marathon has begun. Lead runner on his way to first lap. Do you copy? 10-4, LQ-17. Runner ready and waiting for baton pad. 10-4. Runner ETA, two minutes. Taking grandstand seats. LQ-17 out. You're going, jerk off. Spread them. Didn't you know that carrying a concealed weapon's against the law? You're under arrest. There he is. He's making a dash for the breakwater. I'll try to cut him off. Jump him if I get close enough.
I fucking know! Shark bait? Shark bait. Did you drown the last guy? No, the report came out as an accident. You remember, he fell overboard, the throttle got stuck, and the shark ate him before they could prove anything. What? What? What are you doing? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Where's the next drop zone? When's it gonna happen? Who are the contacts? Fuck you, pig! Fuck you! My father's gonna kill you! My father's gonna skin you alive! Eh, wrong answer. Oh, what are you doing? Where, where are you going? Oh! Me. Uh oh, Frank, I'd watch out if I were you. These rookies could get a little touchy. A woman on the rag can be a very tough opponent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the game's over. Get back to work. Frank, Billy, walk with me. Talk with me. You know, that was quite a bust you guys made up there in the marina. Uh, thanks, Cap. Uh, Dwayne and I were thinking about joining the Santa Monica Beach Patrol, you know, cruising the chicks. <laughs> Maybe you two could start your own TV show. What? Uh, you guys think you're pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Guess you hadn't noticed the smoke coming from my chewed out second butthole. Hell, like a fight in stereo. Now, what the hell were you two idiots thinking? Now, I just got off the phone with Deputy Director Blocker, and you know what he told me? Do you? Do you? that two of my men, two of my finely trained by the book men, dragged the suspect by his hands through the water. Not just any suspect, no, Kim T. Powell, son of Wei Goon Powell. You remember him, don't you? The man we're trying to put behind bars? Well, I asked the director who these men might be. And lucky for them, Kim's lawyer's complaint didn't include names. Yeah, lucky. Real lucky. Well, I had to personally assure the director that nothing like this would ever happen again. Now I'm passing the word on. Have I made myself clear? Of course.
quite. It's clear. So, Powell's son, huh? Well, is he out? Half a million dollars paid by cash by his father about an hour ago. Selmay said that he was really pissed off. Huffing and puffing about having you two to dinner. Sit down. We do work here, you know. Sonny, pass out the assignments. Now, this is Operation New Deal. Now, inside each of your files, you will find details, descriptions, and tentative plans for this mission. Sonny, did you uh, break into Paul's computer system check? We've tried every code breaker we have with no luck. We haven't tried to break into his email back door. His security is tough. Order a cellular scanner and make arrangements with his phone cell company to have Duke Bill sent to us. Okay. Now, let's see who he's calling. Maybe we can get a lead. Cam? Word on the street was the Dragons are due to receive a large shipment of heroin within a week or so. As soon as this heroin shipment arrival date has been confirmed, this mission will be a go. Now, gentlemen, consider yourself at a level three priority. No fucking around. This one single mission can severely cripple Powell's credibility and ability to sell in this country. All right, guys, enough. Now we're finally getting close. So let's finally bury this guy, huh? Class dismissed. Got something for you. Compliments to Tony Wu. It's Powell's laundry list. Names, dates, locations of payoffs, drop-offs, shakedowns. A complete list of the gang's activities for the next week. Just what we need for Operation New Deal. All right. Hey, how's Natalie doing? She's hanging in there? She's hanging. Still hasn't found Tony's killer yet, though, but she's working it. All the way to the top. Remember the day she joined the Bureau? One week after Tony was killed. Graduated top in her class. <laughs> Could outshoot and outfight any of the other rookies. I remember. I know Tony would be very proud of her. Tell me the truth. Did you two ever, uh, you know? No, just friends. <laughs> right. One day you'll tell me. Take a look at this, all right? Two o'clock. Sure those rookies can use some words of wisdom from you. Move. I'm out. Are you with us?
don't know what's gotten into me today. I guess I must be on the rag. Asshole. Morning. My name's Agent Frank Stevens. I'll be your weapons and tactics instructor. The criminal we're up against is better equipped and better paid than any of us. His one mission in life is to get rich and kill anybody who gets in his way. Your job is to arrest this man, place him behind bars, and it's not an easy thing to do when his boss is paying him to kill you. Now, each of you has been selected for the silent force for your fighting abilities, your marksmanship, and your intelligence. Your job is to eliminate the drug traffic in Los Angeles County. You'll have to be your best at all times. One mistake, just one, can be fatal. That's why, as rookies, you'll practice 14 hours a day. You'll become familiar with every weapon and tactic your enemy uses. You will be trained to think like and respect the men you arrest. Should we try and wound our enemy, like shoot him in the leg or something? What do you think this is, cowboys and Indians? You think this guy's just thinking, oh, I'll just wound this pig, then I can leave. No, he's thinking, my days of babes and bucks are over. I love this, this guy's part. He's going to arrest me, humiliate me, throw me in a cell with some guy named Juicy Brucey who's going to try to fuck me in the ass 23 hours a day. To him, your life is not worth shit. You're just a fly in the ointment. You will shoot to kill. Bear break! Hey, bear break! Oh. Glad you could stop by, man. Yeah, well, what are friends for? I can't believe this piece of driftwood is still floating. It sure looks like a big job to me. Yeah, well, maybe if I had a little help, I'd be finished by now. You know, I got a great idea. Why don't we make this a family project? You bring the wife and kids, I'll supply the varnish and brushes. I don't think that will fly with Carol. Uh, something to do with manual labor? <laughs> Man, you sure had that rookie going yesterday. The old shoot to kill speech. Remember when you did that to me? I almost pissed in my pants. You did piss in your pants. Fuck you. Anyway, looks like we have to go on a new deal. Oh? Tomorrow at 6 a.m. Be there. He's going down the 
Upstairs, cut him off! Okay, hold it. Drop it. The gun. The gun. Turn around. I don't shoot people in the back. Goodbye. Shit. Agent Frank Stevens, we need an ambulance, 17th and Venice, right now, we've got an officer down. I've seen worse, man, you're gonna be all right. Gee, thanks, buddy. So, are we in agreement, then? No. If you want to kill yourselves, go right ahead. But count me out. Well, I'm not going to ask you to do anything you feel is not to your best interest. But you will have to respect the fact that the rest of this meeting is confidential. Please. Then, so be it. So once again, are we all in agreement? Good. By this time tomorrow, we will know the name of the informant. And the silent force will be silenced forever. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Have you back, man. Glad to have you back. Doctor said you'd be dancing on that in no time. Thanks, Cal. <laughs> I'd like to dance on the head of the guy who shot me. Yeah. Are you sure you can get him home okay? No problem, Cap. I just gotta go to the store, pick up some groceries. Besides, he wants to stay here, look at some mug shots, work on the computer, you know. He'll be all right. I see Howard. And Stevens. That makes six. Seven with that crepo Billy. Clear. The door locks are off. Okay, we're clear to go. Bobby, go. Send the signal. Go. Hurry back, Frank Stevens. Or you miss all the fun.
approaching West Corridor. Have located warehouse power supply. Cutting power now. What the fuck was that? Check the power box. <laughs> to have you to dinner on the Fantasma. Can you make it? <laughs> After bed. Good. Now get him out of here. You did good, my dear. But what I really need to know is how they got so much information on my organization. I was never allowed to sit in on any of the mission meetings. But I believe they have a mall. I think this disc is the key. Hmm. So they finally were able to break into our computer system. Excellent job. <laughs> Thank you. So has everything been arranged? Did you transfer it? Oh, certainly, my dear. I got your money right here. No. Sorry, my dear. Can't have any witnesses. Can't have loose ends like you roaming around. So pretty. What a shame. How much longer? Turning detonation on now. We're set for 10 minutes. Good. Leave two men behind to take care of Stevens. I want everyone connected to the silent force dead. Stevens is approaching the warehouse now. Time? Four minutes, 37 seconds. This is cutting it close. Yeah, yeah. at the back door. He's going back to the door. He's in. Take your positions and make this quick. Time. Three minutes, 17 seconds. Let's just do him and get out of here. Hell yeah! Oh!
is Mr. Paul. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, Captain Hallett. My son, Kim. Chip off the old block, I see. What is this? Scumbag convention. Kim, we still need to talk. you gentlemen have me at a disadvantage. You have only yourself to blame for your present predicament, Hallett. You and your silent force have forced us to take drastic measures. What do you mean? <laughs> I wiped out your whole force. You're the only one left. No more team, no more arrests. You're the last one. How does it feel, huh? <laughs> You're nothing to me. I just might even let you live if you tell us what I need to know. I have a recent opening for a trader. And the pay is pretty good. You've put a mole in our organization. Who is it? Fuck you both. Easy, Kim. Easy. So hostile. <laughs> well, willingly or unwillingly, you will talk. Why don't you make it easy on yourself, huh? Take the money. All you need to do is to tell us who the snitch is. And you can walk out of here free, alive, and rich. Hmm? Go ahead, boys. Finally, come to your senses. How much are you talking about? I was 50,000 to start. It's not enough. Special. Deputy Director Blocker, Lieutenant Jacobs, Westside Homicide. You got a real mess here. Eight agents all in one night. Where was you found? A, a dumpster behind the alley. By the looks of things, he was trying to escape. They shot him three times in the back. He never had a chance. His hands were cuffed behind him. They used his own cuffs. Thank you, Lieutenant. I expect a full report sent to the Bureau by morning. By the way, your department is off the case. This has become a Bureau matter. I beg your pardon, sir, but this is our jurisdiction. Not anymore. I want the report to read that everyone was killed. Here's a list of names I want you to print. Yes, sir, there are, there are ten names on this list. Just do it.
Hello, Billy. Glad you could make it. You remember my son, Kim, don't you? Sh shark bait. I was hanging Kim. Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me. Now, Billy, do you remember I told you I was going to have you to dinner? Well, here we are. <laughs> you see, you're the one who gave me the idea. Yes, you did. Dragging me behind that speedboat. Do you remember? Well, I remember. I love this time of the year. Summer nights, warm sea breeze, the migration of the gray whale. Ah, the gray whale. Principal food source for the deadliest killer of the sea. Why, just the other day, right here in this spot, I witnessed one of these graceful hunters rip a whale's carcass into two. <laughs> Take him out. Eh? Oh, I do believe some of our dinner guests are arriving. And they say if you don't splash around too much, you might have a chance. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh, that's the date. I'm sure I'll see you there. To the silent force. May it remain silent forever. <laughs> <laughs> back. 
In the freezer. Move. Hey, buddy. Have we ever met? You look very familiar. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we have, because I never forget a face. And you're not our regular waiter. <laughs> when did we start hiring white guys? Today. Tell your boss he missed one. Tell him I'm coming for him. Tell him to release my partner, Billy, or I'm gonna kill his son. One of those agents, huh? You lucky son of a bitch, you got out. Well, looks like we're gonna have to negotiate something else, because your buddy Billy, he's already dead. And the second you walk out of here with that, your life ain't worth piss. Come on out, guys. I'm not gonna hurt you. All right. I need a pen and a piece of paper. Send it down. What? Can you afford it? did this? Who comes into my business and does this, huh? How much money was he carrying? All of last month's revenue. 350000 plus. Get my fucking money back and call San Francisco. Get my chin down here now. And then call the cops. Let them serve and protect. What? The city was a white guy about six feet. He posed as a waiter and held the kitchen staff back with a bomb of some sort. Just one white guy did all this? Yeah. The fucker is dead. That's not all. He had a message for you. Message? What message? This was pinned to Bobby's shirt. Silent force. Silent force? That's it? Was that a fucking joke? My guess is we missed. One of the agents survived the hit. Doubt for a little frontier justice? I for my. Bureau wouldn't authorize a hit like this. Is that so? Get me the silent force fire from the car. Take a good look at this motherfucker. His name is Frank Stevens. He killed Bobby and the others. 50,000 to the guy that kills him. 100,000 if you deliver him to me alive. Make sure everyone gets a cup.
gonna call it a night, Jimmy. Okay, baby. Do I make you some dinner? No, I'll just grab a bite here. Probably gonna be home late. All right, then I'll catch you later. Definitely. You know that. Same old Mike. So what's with all the commotion over one guy? It's no ordinary guy. Top agent in the silent force. Hot shot marksman. Special ops. Weapons tactics. Martial arts expert. Name it. Guy's been well trained. He's taken out six of our men. And uh, he's acquired a sum of money, our money, and we want it back. Mr. Powell would like you to bring him back to us alive because he would like to take him out personally. You think you can handle it? <laughs> well, 50,000, anyone can be gotten to. 100,000, I'll deliver him a gift wrapped. <laughs> Same old Mike. Deal. Who was that girl that just walked out of here? Name's Natalie Chen. She tends bar here. Why do you want to know? Her last name isn't Chen. It's Wu. Natalie Wu. Ring any bells? What the hell are you talking about? Remember Anthony Wu? That was his wife. No. That's impossible. We had her checked out before we hired her. She's clean, man. Then she must be working for the feds. Hell. They must have recruited her after you killed her husband. Are you sure about that? Of course I'm sure, man. How can I forget her? She attended every court appearance her husband made testifying against me. Got five years because of that fed. Fuck, buddy. You get screwed. I think we just found this match. Cut her fucking heart out. She must have heard a lot of loose talk at this bar. She was, she was my girlfriend. Damn, Jimmy. This is between the two of us. Understand, Mike? I want to take care of this personally. No problem, Jimmy. I won't say a word. So tell me, what are you going to do with her? It's fair. Eye for an eye. Heart for heart. until late. Missed you. I missed you too. Do you want a drink? Bourbon, straight. Bourbon, do you want some vodka? Uh, yeah, anything.
Yeah. Never better. By the way, I, uh, I saw an old friend today. Really? Yeah. He gave me some very interesting news. Mike Chan? Yeah, I remember him. So you know who I am. I know I love Natalie Chin. Fuck, could you do this to me? Do this to you? Do this to you? Do you know what your people did to my husband? They tore my life apart. You want to know who killed your husband? Isn't that what this is all about? Isn't it? Don't. What's the matter? Don't you love me anymore? Don't. I do. Where the hell have you been? I've been out identifying a body. Now, what is so important, huh? Then it's true. The fucking rumor is true. Ty is dead. Yeah. Fuck, man. I knew it. Knew what? You know the girl he was seeing? Yeah. Well, she's a cop's widow. What? God, this is all fucked up. Her deceased husband, it was all bureau. Ex-FBI. He nailed me for five years. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Ty was just gonna have some personal fun with her. I respect that. But now that he's dead, hey, where are you going? I need to speak to my father. And Mike, what if we pay you to find the son of a bitch who's been killing our man? Yeah. And find him! Let's go. Good evening, Frank. You puppy. I've always been a dog man myself. Gonna be big. Look at those paws. Glad to see you're still alive. Don't think it'll take the tong long to find this place, though. Hell, it only took me a couple of hours. It's a boat. I move it around a lot. Mm. That's why it only took me two hours. Christ, how many of these old tubs do you think there are? This thing sticks out like tits on a rooster. You're arresting me? Arresting you isn't an option. Hell, I can't have you shooting up everybody I'm supposed to take in. Bad for business, you know. 
I sure could use you, though. Do you know I have everybody believing you're dead? A dead, untraceable field operative has a lot of value to the Bureau. I can't make up my mind about you. Hell, half the guys in the Bureau would love to be in your shoes. Then there are guys like me who believe the system still works. What a crock of shit. The law is written for the criminal and you know it. My squad believed in your laws and now they're all dead. The only thing those men believe in is this. Easy. You don't want to go making him nervous. He has a very itchy trigger finger. So, I think now you understand my position. So let's talk. What are my options? None. You're in, or you're dead. Simple. Ty's been killed. What? The cops are scraping his remains up the walls as we speak. He was shot at his girlfriend's apartment. How did it happen? I, I, I don't know. Mike Chan claims Ty's girlfriend, our bartender, is an ex-Fed's widow. There's a good possibility she's the one who's been selling us out. Natalie? Didn't you guys check her out? Yeah, we checked her out. She was clean. Then find her. Bring me that fucking bitch. Send her pictures to all our contacts at every airport, every bus stations, and every train station. Find her and bring her here to me. Yes, Go! Excuse me, miss. Do you know when the train to San Francisco leaves? Frank. I thought you were dead. All the police reports said that... God, I'm just so happy to see you. How'd you find me? I was following Ty. I know what you did. I've been keeping my eye on you ever since. Wait a minute. You're the one? You're the one that everyone's after? You've been alive this whole time, you haven't even told me. I couldn't. I guess it doesn't matter. I... Chan and all his butchers are after me anyway, so what's the difference? Go with me. Let's go away together. I can't, not yet. I've got some things to take care of. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I, I need to go somewhere, anywhere. I just need to get away. Look, sometime soon, just you and me, we'll go on my boat. We'll take a cruise, and we'll forget about all this. Okay. Look, take this. What? Take it. It'll help you start your new life. I'm gonna miss you. Go around and cut her up. Come on. Hey. Hey. What 
everything you're going, huh? Come on. Let's go. It's so nice to see you outside of a courtroom. There's a Corvette following us. Should I lose him? No. Let him follow us. Yes, sir. Well, Chan, I guess you were right. I guess I was the next one on this hit list. Well, slut. Looks like your boyfriend wants to kill me, too. Too bad life has its own little surprises. <laughs> We're coming. Is everything ready? Good. Yeah, he's coming. Like a fly to shit. Pulling up to the warehouse now. He's going around to the west end of the building. I can't see him from here. I'm gonna go to the other side. His car's parked in the alley at the west end of the building. There's no sign of him. I'll keep you posted. Over. You guys know what to do, huh? Get you alive real slow. And I think I'm gonna start with your pretty little face.
Nice job. Bravo, bravo. Now, are you sure I can offer you a job? You know, good fighters are very hard to come by nowadays. Let her go and I'll let you live. <laughs> so kind. You believe the balls on this boy, huh? Okay, so you don't want a job. That's too bad, because you know what? I could grow to like you. Good job you got. Please. Now, where's my money? Why'd you do it? Why'd you kill an entire squad of federal agents? Because I could. You pathetic cops thinks you're so untouchable. Above the law, protected by that little tin badges of yours. You think you're God, but I'm an atheist. I'm the Sultan of death. Everybody is expendable in my book. You, Hallett, even your partner, Billy. As a matter of fact, I quite enjoy killing Billy. It was a lovely dinner. <laughs> Wish you were there. You see, your life is as worthless to me as the addicts I sell to. Nothing but a source of amusement. Except I'm getting bored. You're becoming a nuisance, just like your team. Oh, I'm sorry. What team, huh? <laughs> now, my money. OK, time's up. No! It's on my boat, under the hatch to the engine room, San Pedro. Dock 2, slip 32. How nice of you to see it my way. Pick it up and meet me at the fisherman's wharf. I'm tired of this game. Time for a new one. Now, are you ready to join the winning team? No? OK. Here we go. There are no rules. By the way, the loser dies. And uh, if you win, I'll let the bitch go. Any questions? OK, let the game begin.
Lay down your weapon. You're under arrest. You think this is over? I'll be out on the street in two weeks? Not this time. I made a little deal with the feds. Got your confession on tape. You're right, it's not over. I still want your son. You touch my son, and you wish you were never born. Do you hear me? I'll hunt you down. Get him out of here. Let go of me. I know the routine. You all right? You're all untied. Frank, I want your report on my desk, bud. So, where is it? Under that hatch right there. Go get it. Okay, Chief. Here. Yeah. Grab my little friend in there while you're at it. Oh. Yeah, boy. A doggy bag. What do you do with it? Babe, I think we'll do a little fishing while we wait for my father. Cool. You want something to drink? Yeah, make me a vodka tonic, will you? All right. Let me see what my friend is doing here. What do you say we uh, use you as shark bait, huh? <laughs> Shit. The fucker bit me. Easy there. Remember shark bait. Yeah. Shark bait. Yeah. Yeah, um, where's your father's gonna meet us? Uh, Fisherman's Wharf Pier, Mike. You mean that pier? Hey. hey, what's going on here? Go talk to the captain. I'm going to check downstairs. Hey, Kim. What could be wrong, huh? I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. All right. You're the boss.
Hank. So nice to see you again. Drop the gun. I said, drop the gun. Or this slut gets her brains blown out all over these walls. Do it. Do it. Do it. Very good, Frank. Very good. Now, outside. I said outside now! Mike! Hey, Mike! He can't hear you. He had a little accident. He fell overboard about five miles back. So you kill me, there'll be no one to pilot this yacht. Nice try. Been on yachts all my life. Piloting this one's a piece of cake. Oh, you smell good. Ooh, nice hair. Oh, I think I'm gonna have a little fun. Ah, oh, my nose! I've been looking forward to this since we first met. Shark bait. Sure, I remember. Last one to call me that ended up dead. Time for you to join him. God, you're all right. I told you she'd let me shoot him. Couldn't. I made a deal with the FBI for him and his father to stand trial. What's that? What's that? Hey. 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 So, should we go get him? Don't you know who I am? Come back here! Hey, 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 hey! No! Nah. Hey, hey, oh, no, I think I... Something's not my feet. Come back! Something's over here. Oh, God, it's gonna be drowned. Oh, God! No, it's a shark! Come back! What are you doing? Do you know who I am? Get back here! I'm not gonna lie. I'm... 